So you mentioned that people are kind of they have headphones on listening to music, right? And they have eye shades mm-hmm. on, and they're they're really kind of directed yeah, to go inwards. Right. And do you do you kind of explicitly direct them to move towards the uncomfortable yeah. aspects so they don't just end up having a blissful experience and enjoy a kind of display of visual things, but instead are kind of actively moving towards um, the challenging material? No. So yes, no. I suppose we don't. We don't. Um, so unlike MDMA therapy, where you would be working directly, you know, there'd be a lot more interaction with your therapist. Um, I suppose this is is more of an internal journey. Um, so we very much let whatever arises arise. Um, okay. And um, yeah, so we we don't we don't direct in any way. We we might just notice, say, you know, in the latter half of the integration, if we felt that something um quite crucial happened maybe we'll, we'll we will reflect back um whether that hit home to the participant in any way i mean maybe it wasn't imp- important for them but it may have been something we noticed or observed um but very much kind of focusing on their meaning making and, and making sure that it's coming from them rather than from us which you know as a therapist is very hard because we, we like to make meanings and make stories and <laughs> so yeah, yeah it's, it's very much about controlling that Im- impus um, impetus to to uh, help out too much yeah and so is it possible that you know one participant might do you know en- encounter kind of um, autobiographical material emotional process things challenging kind of stuff that might look more like a kind of traditional psychotherapeutic material and someone else maybe will just have a kind of blissful interconnected mystical experience is that yeah does that kind of thing happen? um i don't know yeah yeah i mean it does happen but then there might be little like you know little elements of biographical and mystical and often mm-hmm. you know it might be a biographical experience with emotional catharsis catharsis whamming into a mystical experience <laughs> so you know and and, and it, 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 there's the configuration durations or the way in which things happen are also different for for everyone um yeah so yeah it can it can really vary i think in terms yeah. of um people's people's experience and i think maybe the fact that we don't interfere so much probably in a way kind of um fosters more the, the sense of of having a mystical or a deep interconnected experience because it's very much it's the person with the music and as long as they feel safe and then they, they go you know it's often we're, i think we're there really so if they start to feel resistance or they or they start to feel panicky is just to reassure them that whatever's happening is absolutely fine and it's all good and that eventually it will pass so yeah. um so just yeah that warm presence really yeah. Is it, does it happen that, that sometimes people come back with no kind of um, perhaps insight or any, any kind of particular bit of, of some, you know, information that they can kind of, you know, accept about themselves or do, you know, does it happen or is it seems a negative thing if someone just says, I had temper, had a few hours relief from my depression. It was an incredible spiritual experience. And now I feel, feel much better than I did before. Does that happen? Or, and is that seen as kind of maybe missing the opportunity to, get some insight into one's like kind of unconscious processes mm, mm, um well I, th- I think there are different types you know so some people have transformative experiences which are, are pretty much that they have a mystical emotional cathartic experience or ego dissolution experience and um they can shift their depression for a considerably long time um and some people uh, will have biographical experiences um and i think in the research what we found is that often that pe- the people who tend to have more mystical ego dissolution experiences um tend to shift their depression for a lot longer so i think in silodep one 11 of the participants had a kind of a mystical type experience um but um yeah i think it, it, it's it's this sense that it's an unfolding process and that you may not be able to make sense of it straight away as well it's really important that we kind of encourage people not to try and concretize or, or fix meaning too soon because you know it's there's this kind of neuroplasticity this openness that new novel connections are being made in the brain and it's just kind of to stay with that expanded state um 
and to see what emerges and then i suppose it's what we're then encouraging is what insights or what feelings or, or how can you honor this experience so we try to encourage them to make small changes in, in whatever ways they can whether it's doing meditation doing yoga walking in nature more calling friends more it's just that kind of trying to capitalize on that kind of psychological flexibility and that neuroplasticity um so yeah i think and and the people who are kind of more conscientious in making those small changes i ten, think tend to shift the depression uh, for a lot longer as well so it's very much you know i think it, it's very much an interactive process between the, the the participant and their experience and then what they do with it afterwards which is why again the integration and the therapy is so important